How's it going YouTube? We are back and this time around we are going to be doing the top 10 relievers for the MLB. Um, I have two separate lists here. I have the, what MLB has listed and then I kind of rearrange the order into my personal um, opinion. Uh, the MLB has Josh Hader at number 10, Tyler Duffy, Aaron Bummer, Earl Chapman, Brad Hand, James Karinchak, uh, Nick Anderson, Devin Williams, Drew Pomerantz, and Liam Hendricks. Um, some people got moved around a lot and some people pretty much stayed where they were. Um, obviously, we both have Liam Hendricks as number one because Liam Hendricks was the best reliever, in my opinion. Uh, I moved Devin Williams um, down to number two. Um, his rookie of the year season was phenomenal with a sub one ERA. I think it was 0.83 ERA. His stuff was absolutely filthy. And as a Dodger fan, I could say I was glad to not see him in the um, two game uh, wild card. So that was nice. Um, he had a great year. Um, I'm going to go back to the top here. I moved Tyler Duffy down to 10. Um, nothing against Tyler Duffy. I just think that um, Josh Hader is a, a better pitcher at this moment. I believe that. Um, Having Josh Hader at 10, base, whatever he did last year, is um, he's the best reliever in my opinion when he's uh, when he's right. And last year, I don't think he was right very much. Um, I dropped him down to 5. Duffy goes to 10. Aaron Bummer moves back a spot. Both of those guys I'm pretty new to. Um, uh, Aaron Bummer has a nasty slider They um, with a funky motion as well. Uh, same with James Karinchak. His motion is weird. But they um they specialize in their breaking balls, Duffy and Bummer. Duffy's is a curve, I believe, and Bummer's is a slider. Both filthy, both they good enough to earn themselves a top ten spot. Um, I have a Roldis Chapman at number eight because I just I've never been a fan of a Roldis Chapman, and um, giving up another walk off in the playoffs year after year is just doesn't do very good for your uh, rankings in my opinion. Uh, Karin Chak at number seven. I, I just don't think he's better than Pomerantz hater or hand yet um filthy rookie season as well great rookie year looks like he's going to be the closer with the uh, departure of brad hand um his fastball is electric his curveball is nasty out of the hand you can't tell what's coming off until it's in the glove so i think he's got a lot of potential to be one of the best coaches in the league uh drew primer at number six i didn't really understand why he was number two on mlb's list um, i've always been a really big drew pomerantz fan even back when he was with san diego the first time but to have him as low as two, I just didn't understand that. Um, so I moved him back to six. I think he's a little bit, or I think he's more experienced than Kareem Jack. So I think that has to go towards his um, his ranking. And I think he had better seasons than Duffy and Bummer. So he earns himself a top six spot. Uh, below him, Hader, Hand, and Anderson. Um, obviously, we know Hand has been electric ever since he was with San Diego before he got traded to Cleveland. Um, nasty slider in the game pretty much he's got the wipeout stuff um tough to hit hater we know what he can do anderson and i think a lot of people are going to under or misunderstand why i have anderson so low apart from what he did in the playoffs anderson was lights out all year long he was a beast and it's just it's the the, the amount of um slander he gets for what happened in the playoffs and especially the world series um, it doesn't really give due justice to what he did during the regular season. He is a top three reliever right now in the in baseball. And then Devin Williams and Liam Hendricks as before. Devin Williams is probably one of the nastiest change-ups. Maybe it's a splitter, maybe a split change. But that thing is filthy. He's got elite velocity. And I think he's going to be a real problem if, um, if Milwaukee manages to turn their seasons around. If not, he could be a pretty good trade piece coming this deadline, next deadline, whenever they decide to move him. Liam Hendricks was just a dog all year long. That guy just sees a wall and runs through it. That fastball, he just peppers people with fastballs. And it's one of those old school, old school relievers where they're not going to back down for you. Like Mariano with his cutter. Obviously, his fastball is not as uh, legendary as Mariano's cutter, but... He's going to throw it to you every single pitch. He's not going to change, and uh, you have to do your best to hit it. Obviously, he does have the slider and the curveball as well, but his main pitch is his fastball. That's his strength. He attacks with his strength, and he pitches really, really good, which is why he's number one. And that's my list for the 10 relievers, or top 10 relievers in baseball right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. Comment what position you want to see done next, and I'll see you guys next time.